All right, boys and girls. With our scrap paper, we're going to make a head and a tail. So you can set aside the wings and the body. So, you could cut this in half. You could cut this in half. Now, I'd like to make a tail. So I want the tail to stick out of the end right here. Maybe I'll get this one. But I want it to have some thickness and then like an arrow shape. So I think this piece is too small. Maybe I'll just use this one, which is too big. So I'm going to lay it down and I'm going to draw the line for the tail. I'm going to have the tail come out right here. So the tail will go up or down, however you decide. And we want the tail to have some thickness, so you have to draw both sides of the tail. And then I'd like a triangle shape at the back of it. So I'm going to make a triangle. See the point? Three sides, but not too dark. But I think that's kind of dull looking, so I want it to be a little bit zigzag. There we go, I'm cutting into it a little bit. So I get that nice shape for our dragon's tail. There we go, cut it out. And usually they have this forked tail. I mean, I know they're a fantasy animal, but we wanna really get that interesting tail. There we go. One, two. Okay, I'm going to move my scraps and see if it fits. Yeah, it fits. Now he just needs a head, or she needs a head. You can start gluing these pieces together or using See, the glue could go right in the inside, but I'll wait till I have the head. So now we have the tail, the neck, the wings. Now we just are going to make a head. So out of this scrap, sometimes I like to just press it in here to see how it looks, what size. Oh, I'm going to make the head right here from right here. So for my head, I'm going to draw two lines up, and its head's going to be like an oval, so I'm going to draw an oval. Maybe softly draw the oval, but I want its face to get smaller over here, so I'm going to redraw this and give it a little point. Ooh, and here's its neck, <clears throat> and of course we want those nice curved triangles for this nice curved triangles at the top and then I'm going to make its neck a little thicker. And of course I'll have eyes here and a mouth and there we go. Take your scissors carefully start cutting it out There we go. Now I'm going to move all my scraps. I'm going to glue it together or staple it or tape it. Use whatever you have. Here's the glue for its body. I'm going to put its head, you could have the head sitting up. You could have the head tilted over. I'm going to tilt mine a little bit. There we go. Oh, my tail. 
I could have the tail going down. I think I'm going to have the tail going up. Maybe a little more glue in here. Or a staple. There we go. Now, boys and girls, I think I shouldn't glue it together before I color it a little bit. So I'm going to open it up and give it a minute. I don't like that idea. Make sure, let's add color first. Oops. Sometimes it's harder to draw once it's all put together.